everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. I am back. Oh my goodness. Look what Goose Creek Candle sent me. These are the Willy Wonka candles. I am so excited to share these. Thank you so much, Goose Creek, for sending me this collection. I cannot wait to dig in. I have not smelled any of them. I did unbox them. There are two crates here. And literally, when I opened the crate, the box, um, it kind of smelled like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory as it opened up. It was amazing. <laughs> so as many of you know, I was born in 1970. Ironically, it's my birthday tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to be 54 tomorrow. When did this happen? Seriously? <laughs> so... Of course, I'm a child of the 70s, and I vividly remember the original Willy Wonka with Gene Wilder, my absolute favorite. There was something so magical about watching that movie. Like, what kid did not want to be in a chocolate factory? So I'm going to just stop talking now and dig into the candles. Are you ready? Candle number one, Augustus Gloop. Oh, my gosh. Poor kid. He didn't make it too far <laughs> in the Willy Wonka franchise. Why? Because he had to stick his head in the chocolate river. Don't, don't be doing that. This one is called Sweet Tooth. And it is, let me click on my screen here. Oh my goodness. This is like, from what I remember, all fruity from when I read this yesterday. Pink Champagne. Lemon, strawberry, orange, and sugar crystals. Look at these jars, by the way. There's a backside of the jar. These are so cute. Look at this Wonka. It says um, the fizzy uh, lifting drink. <gasps> the Willy Wonka logo. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. I love that they have the original characters on them too. So you ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna smell this one first. Oh yeah. That's what it smells like. It smells like um, pink champagne, lemon, strawberry, orange. But you know what? It's got a little bit of a vanilla note in here. It smells creamy. So sometimes you get like a really fruity candle. And there might be one in this collection that I haven't found yet. But sometimes you get um, a fruity candle that's like really sharp fruit. This one's a lot creamier. You know, when uh, Augustus was eating, like, all these, like, confectionery things, that's kind of what it smells like. Did anyone ever imagine, like, what all of that stuff would have tasted like? I know it was, like, plastic. <laughs> you weren't really eating candy. But still, like, I was enthralled. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Lickable wallpaper. Um, yeah. Veruca salt. Um, poor Veruca. You know? Uh, this one, oh my gosh, I wanted lickable wallpaper so bad as a child. Watermelon sugar, pink apple, wild berries, and sugar. This one might be a little bit more fruity. Let me smell. Oh yeah, this one is like, this almost has like a tropical vibe to it. I would call this one like pure on fruit. You do get a heavy watermelon in this one. So if you like that, like really sharp fruit, I would get this one, especially with the watermelon. And then um, this one is definitely like a creamier candle. I'm doing these like in whatever order they come out of the box in, by the way. Butterscotch Ripple. Oh my goodness. Look at this classic Gene Wilder. I love Gene Wilder because he was like really like this friendly candy making guy, but he had a little bit of an edge to him. You had to love like Gene Wilder in this role. I thought he was wonderful. Um, marshmallow cream, butterscotch swirl, and caramel sugar. Look at this. Oh, this is great. This is just like pure on butterscotch marshmallow. I love a good butterscotch candle. That's the funny thing. Like sometimes like companies will mix um, butterscotch just in a tiny bit. This one is actually full on butterscotch. It does say caramel, but I'm getting a lot, a lot of really nice butterscotch in this one. This one is wonderful. Oh, Gene Wilder. Okay. Next up. Oh, this is the whole Willy Wonka cast. Look at this. 
Um, this is wonderful. So 70s. Oh my goodness. I love this. Okay, this one is called The Chocolate Factory. Milk chocolate, chocolate icing, caramel, vanilla, and sugar. There's a lot of chocolates in this collection. So we're going to kind of like uh, figure out what chocolate is which. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, yeah. Okay, this one smells like fudge. This one smells like either fudge or like a dark, it says milk chocolate, but to me this smells kind of like a dark chocolate frosting, like you get it right out of the can. Oh yeah, this one is definitely full on chocolate. Okay, did I do this one? No. I didn't. <laughs> Next up, are you ready? Violet Beauregard. Oh my goodness, poor Violet. Violet didn't make it like she made it farther than Augustus Gloop, but poor Violet, she had to have that blueberry gum. Actually, the gum was like the whole, maybe the gum was like the whole dinner, uh, but they hadn't tested it very well. And then she got to the blueberry and you all know what happened. Uh, fresh blueberries, baked jam, buttery cream, and pie crust. Look at how cute this is. Okay. Are you ready? This one's so good. Oh my gosh. Blueberries. Not a lot of people are doing blueberries right now. I like the fresh blueberries. I like the baked jam and um, a little pie crust going on. A blueberry pie candle. I can't wait to burn that one. Okay. You ready? I've got four more here. I'm so excited. Okay. I didn't even get to the golden ticket yet. I did not pull the golden ticket. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Everlasting Gobstopper. Um, so who wouldn't want a piece of candy that lasts forever? Seriously, remember in the movie, the Gobstoppers were like ginormous. They were huge. I'm like, how is anyone eating these? Of course, like the real Gobstoppers that you buy now aren't that big, but. Well, you can get the big ones, but these were like, they look like, like craters. They were like really like bumpy, the ones in the movie. Okay. Um. Orange, berries, lime, lemon, raspberry, and cotton candy. I'm assuming this one is just going to be like, yeah, he's holding one. Look, that yeah, the everlasting gobstopper. Um, I'm kind of assuming this one is going to be really, really fruity. Oh, yeah, I was right. So this one is the, like, sugary fruit. This is the one that's, like, all of your candy fruits, like orange and lime and lemon and red. Yeah, it, it smells like cotton candy. It smells like very sugary fruit. So we've got your fruits and you got your chocolates, which is really cool. Okay. Oh, I pulled the golden ticket. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> the golden ticket. Honestly, like that was so cool that they had the golden ticket. That was just a really neat, neat concept. You know, like back then in the seventies, like that you would open a candy bar and you'd have a golden ticket. Look at the golden ticket. Okay. So this one is dreamy milk chocolate, caramel and vanilla. So kind of um the same set notes uh as the other one, but let's see what this one's like. Okay, this one to me, the other one smells like um I'm, I'm going to do a recap after I do these, but this one smells more like a milk chocolate caramel. This is a lot creamier. The other one is more like a dark chocolate fudge. Oh, I like this one. Um it's fabulous. Okay. I have two more. You ready? I have River of Chocolate. I told you there's a lot of chocolates in here. River of Chocolate. So what is River of Chocolate? That's what everyone's going to want to know. River of Chocolate is molten milk chocolate, warm fudge, and vanilla cream. I'm curious about this one because I kind of thought the other one smelled a little fudgy too. Okay, you ready? The Oompa Loompas. Oh, I like this one too. There's a lot of cream in this one. So we're going to go over our chocolates when I'm done here. This one is more the chocolate with the cream mixed in. Okay. Final one is called The Magical Life of Candy. I love that they have Charlie Bucket and Grandpa on here. Seriously, I love these characters. They were so much fun. Okay, so this one is tangerine, raspberry, peach, and sponge sugar. A little peach going on there, a little tangerine. Okay, this is perfection. 
This is like a really sugary. I love tangerine and raspberry. The peach in here is not like a furry peach. It's not juicy. It's a peach candy. The perfect peach. So, oh my goodness, you guys. This collection is just making me happy like a thousand times over. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to break this down a little bit. So, we have three, which makes sense, three chocolate candles. Yeah, three chocolate candles. So if you're kind of deciding which ones to get, oh my goodness, by the way, these are $13.99 on the Goose Creek website. There's three, three chocolates. You've got the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory whole cast. I kind of think that if you can only get one, this is like the iconic candle to get because I love the cast on here unless you get Golden Ticket, which of course is super cool. But um, I like this one a lot. This one is like a, to me, a darker chocolate icing fudgy candle. It's like pure on chocolate. You got your chocolate going on here. So then the golden ticket, which is the Wonka candle, this is like a chocolate caramel mix, which is nice. I love it. Absolutely perfect. These are all different, but they're absolutely wonderful, all of them. And then you've got the river of chocolate with the Oompa Loompas. This one has the cream in it. Oh, that smells so good. So if you like your chocolate with a little bit of cream, you're going to want to get river of chocolate. Okay. So now let's break down these other ones. So, oh, butterscotch ripple to me kind of fits in like the chocolate family. Um, Cause it's got a little caramel in it. It's like in that, that section. So yes, butterscotch ripple. If you like butterscotch, get this one. So then we have, um, a bunch of fruit candles. I think that blueberry pie kind of fits in between. So there's actually nine of these candles. So you've got your chocolates and your caramels. And then in the middle, I think there's like your blueberry pie. Because this is not like a fruity, sugary candle. This is a pie candle. Oh yeah, Violet Beauregard and her blueberry pie. This is an excellent blueberry pie candle. So then we have our four fruit candles. Lickable wallpaper. This is like pure on watermelon. Um, there's almost a little bit of a tropical vibe in here. But if you love watermelon mixed with a whole bunch of fruit, like sharp fruit, you're going to get your um, lickable wallpaper. So that's that one. If you want a little bit of a creamier fruit, I would go with Sweet Tooth. This one smells like it's got a little vanilla in it. I don't know if it does, but it's like kind of toned down. It is fabulous. Okay. So that's Sweet Tooth. Um, Everlasting Gobstopper. This is just your pure on like sharp limes, lemons. I mean, this is all that fruit just all mixed together. Uh, but there's a very sharp note in this fruit. Very sugary. And then the final one, The Magical Life of Candy. This is that peach tangerine one. So... My two favorite fruits are Sweet Tooth and Magical Life of Candy. I think these are absolutely fabulous. It's funny, I love watermelon, but for some reason, these two candles are what's doing it for me right now. I love these. The tangerine and the peach and the raspberry blend beautifully. And this one with that creamy note, I'm loving Sweet Tooth. So... Got a lot of choices here. Oh my goodness, Willy Wonka. I gotta say, this totally made my day. Thank you so much, Goose Creek, for sending me these. Um, by the way, Candyland on sale. I think the semi-annual sale is like ending today. You need Candyland. Throw out a Candyland candle for $7.99. These make such good gifts too. Like if you know people that are obsessed with pop culture like me, or you know someone who loves Willy Wonka, these are so darn cute. I gotta say, I love each and every one of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Goose Creek, for sending this to me, and I will see you guys later. I'm gonna start reviewing these soon. Bye-bye.